Hello, this is Lucas Palmeiro from Imaginando and I'm here for another tutorial on the RC. For today's song, I'm going to show you how to make three sounds from the song Ocean Drive, which is which was a 2015 mega hit released by Duke Dumont. So let's get right into it. Okay, we got three sounds to make, a bass, a pad and some keys. And we're going to start with the main bass, which is basically the main sound of the song. And it sounds something like this. I'm going to start by turning off the effects that I have here. This is a sidechain compressor just to use it with the kick. So no need for that. This is a mono. It's only there to make mono, some reverb, a glue compressor, delay modulator used as a chorus to make stereo, and these really important equalizers that we're going to talk afterwards. So let's go to DRC and bring back the default patch. Okay, and first thing that we're going to do is raise the pregain to 902. Okay. Now let's drop the cutoff frequency to 298. Perfect. And now we're going to raise the envelope generator to amount to 591. This is the amount of this envelope generator modulating the cutoff frequency through time. And now we raise the resonance to 92. And we change the filter mode from a low, low pass four pole to a low pass two pole. Now we go to the modulation here of the filter and we raise the keyboard to maximum. This means the higher the note, the higher the cutoff frequency. So now we go to the first envelope generator. This one modulates the amplitude of the sound. And we want a tech at zero, a decay of 340, sustain at zero, and 255 of release. Second envelope generator, a tech at zero, sustain at zero, and a decay of 388. Okay, release 129. We got, so we got a patch going. Now to turn on the, um, the effects, I'm going to start by turning on these equalizers. These equalizers have like, I'm using about 15 bands. And the idea here is to kind of simulate sort of something between a comp filter and a Foreman filter. I did it by hand by taking all the frequencies and boosting some of the highs and leaving out some of the lows. You can check this out on the session that we're going to leave on the description below. But it gets like this, has this kind of hollow effect. Then we have this delay modulator which is giving it a little bit of stereo, a glue compressor, which is pumping up the transients of the sound and bringing it up to, to volume, small snare room, and bring it back to mono. And here we have our bass. Let's now go to the pad sound. And on the pad sound, which sounds something like this, Okay. Gonna turn off the sequelizer, delay modulator, and bring back the patch to default. Okay. And so, first thing that I'm going to do is drop the pregame to 418. Master to 563. Next, we're going to raise the second oscillator to maximum. We're going to drop one octave and detune it to 188. Okay. 
Now raise sub oscillator to maximum and raise one octave on the sub oscillator. Okay. Now let's go to the filter, drop the cutoff filter to 309. Three times should be okay. Envelope generator to a mounted 605. Six or three should be fine. Resonance at 158. Again, low pass two pole, not low pass four pole. And we go back to the modulation page, keyboard at maximum. And this time we also go to the VCA, which controls the amplitude of the sun. And we're gonna also send keyboard to maximum. Okay, next thing that we're going to do is go to the first envelope generator and raise the attack to 0 0.050. Decay at 500, a sustain at maximum and a release of 300. For the second envelope generator, we want to leave everything default. Okay, and now we go, sorry, it's not default, it's actually 0, 0388 on the DK. It's almost like that, 545 on the sustain and 100 on the release. Finally, we go to the reverb, now we go to the reverb, 708 on the reverb. 624 on the DK, 282 damping, and a modulation of 307. Okay. So next, now, we can go and turn on the delay modulator. Just giving a little bit of movement and more stereo. And the equalizer, which is just a little deep, around 1000 Hz. This is a compressor just for sidechain again. So let's go to the final patch. Which is this nice keys. Turn off the equalizer, which is just boosting the high frequencies, as you can see. Bring back the default patch. And let's start. For this, I'm going to start by changing the first oscillator to a square. And changing the pulse width of the square wave to 941. So we're going to have a much thinner sound. And next, we're going to add some pulse width modulation with the LFO raising it to 168. So we're gonna have some movement going on here. Okay, next thing I'm gonna raise the second oscillator to five uh, to 455 volume. Like this, go to the second oscillator and change it to a square. And I'll detune it, 132. Now drop the cutoff frequency to 338. Raise the resonance to 480. Envelope generator amount to 820. Now, for the first envelope generator, we want zero attack, 775 of DK. A sustain of zero. And a release of 648. Now, for the second envelope generator, zero attack, 636 on the DK. Sustain at zero. 
and a release of 497. Okay, now for the reverb, 606. 793 of DK. So it's a really long reverb. And modulation of 358. Okay. And we got our patch ready. So now I'm going to turn on the equalizer. And we should have everything ready for us to listen. So bear with me while I get this ready for us. Okay, so let's now listen to the music. And that was it. And there you have it, guys. I really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. We have new content and different things that we're trying out on our new channel. So be sure to check that out. We're going to have more content coming up every week. So if you like this, please help us. Give us a like. Subscribe to our channel. That means a lot to us. I will now say goodbye and see you on the next video.